Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to touch on the Adams family. The reason why I want to touch on this is because I want to ask the question, is the Adams family a representation of Latino culture? Now I really shouldn't have to say this, but I think it's pretty obvious that the answer is no, but let's just go through this. But first I want to start off with the fact that, yeah, I'm going to rant a little bit in this episode. So let's get into it. But first off, I want to ask the question, where do a bunch of white women living in the suburbs get off telling me that the Adams family is a representation of Latino or Spanish or Puerto Rican culture? Simply because Gomez Adams has a Spanish surname for a given name, it doesn't make him Spanish. Doesn't make me uh, suddenly Italian if I adopt Coppola as my first name. It also doesn't make me a winemaker or a film director. I guess that's the issue here. Um, I also don't care that Raul Julia played the character, but because he also played Othello. Is Shakespeare now Spanish or Puerto Rican culture? Perhaps he was just playing a character. Now, the other question is, is Gothic American culture now Spanish or Latino culture? If so, what is Puerto Rican culture? What is Spanish culture? What is Latino culture? It's a good question. If I go to Spain or Latin America or Puerto Rico, will I see that everyone on average dresses in the same macabre uh, way and has the same macabre mannerisms of the Adams family? I think I won't actually see that. Will everyone be dancing the mamushka? which comes from the Cossack side of the Adams family. Now, to me, that doesn't sound very um, Latino or Hispanic or Puerto Rican, but it does sound European. To me, all of this is the same thing that we've seen time and again, and that is that we get um, Hollywood uh, who likes to copy and paste people of color into European myth or traditional American myth. Uh, basically traditional American, in this case, Gothic culture or copy and paste us into uh, Hans Christian Andersen, things like The Little Mermaid, which has recently been swapped. Then they tell us that this is somehow our representation. But I would argue this isn't representation at all. This is tokenism. You basically have taken a European culture and copy and pasted people of color into it and now you tell us here this is your representation this is your culture we have given you representation no representation is more than just having someone who has a certain skin tone representation is showing their actual origins their ethnicity the culture related to that it is all of those things and if you want to represent a group, then you should actually represent who that group is, not just what they look like, but who they actually are and what their culture actually is. Instead, what we get is people of color pasted into European culture, and then we get told, this is your representation. You should accept this. It is not, that is all there is to it. Now, all of this has come about just because basically a combination of Raul Julia, again, who played Othello as well as Gomez Adams, and uh, Tim Burton's Wednesday will be a Latina played by Jenna Ortega. And of course, this actress has made some, let's just say made some comments about representation of Latin or Latino culture and how this is basically, you know, the first ever whatever kind of representation, but I don't see this as Latino culture. Again, how is the Adams, a Gothic American family representative of Latino culture in any way? Any of their mannerisms match? Do any of the things within, say, you know, that we see in the Adams family home, the Adams family home itself, does that represent 
Latino culture in any way. I would argue that the style of the house, exterior and interior is no way representative of Latino culture. And if I go to the Adams Family Wikipedia page, there is simply no information about them being a Latino family. But it goes on from there where actually there's this article here about 11 Jewish facts about the Adams Family movies. And there's actually a lot of references to, well, let's just say uh, Jewish things in the Adams Family movies. For example, a uh, family matriarch uh, endearingly calls Gomez uh, Bubele, I guess, which is a Yiddish term that translates into darling or sweetheart. Now, there was a Jewish director of this film, Barry Sonnenfeld, so obviously he inserted a lot of these little things, and that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. It's a little weird with all of this stuff that the things that they say, someone saying oy vey does not make me think, oh, look, Latino culture. Uh, in fact, in Adam's Family Values, everyone's favorite spooky teenager Wednesday and her brother are sent away to a camp, but not just any camp. It's actually a Jewish summer camp. Camp Chippewa is a real camp in Wisconsin that is popular amongst upper class Jewish households. Uh, Mark Shaman, one of the producers and composers of the Adams Family Music, is Jewish and his cultural background clearly inspired his work on the film. Uh, a beautiful instrumental song that accompanies Gomez as he reminisces about his long lost brother, Fester, who is actually his uncle in the TV show which is confusing. I mean, which one is it? Is he his brother? Is he his uncle? Is he brother uncle? I don't know. If that's the case, then this family has some issues beyond just being macabre and gothic. Uh, in Adam's family value, Uncle Fester marries the gold digging nanny. Uh, and as Wednesday, the flower girl walks down the aisle, a spooky rendition of Sunrise Sunset from Fiddler on the Roof is then played. Got Rudin, the producer of both movies, is Jewish, and I was a Jewish kid from Long Island who didn't want to be a Jewish kid from Long Island, Rudin said. Uh, let's see, what are the other things in this? Wednesday's love interest in Adam's Family Values is Jewish, portrayed as a stereotypical Jewish teen. The Adams Family was filled with Jewish contributors. The late Judith Molina, who played Grandmama Adams, is a Jewish-German immigrant. And Dan Hadaya, who played the Tully Alford, the evil lawyer who plotted to steal the Adams' fortune, was born to a Sephardic Jewish family. So, see, there's a lot more here for me to say that supports the Adams Family is actually Jewish more than uh, me saying that they are in any way Latino, Hispanic, or Spanish or Puerto Rican, any of that. And then when the Adams Family sitcom aired in the 60s, it was seen as a subtle commentary on racism in the United States while audiences were growing to love the quirky and spooky Adams Family. Jewish and black American families were moving into previously all Gentile and all white neighborhoods. Here the Adams Family served to represent the social issues that quote monsters were invading their territory. Likewise, the Adams Family and Adams Family Values address the same issues and inviting viewers to accept the monsters for their loving personalities despite their differing appearance. In other words, welcoming the stranger, clearly that's a Jewish and an Adams Family value. So look, I don't care whether you wanna call it Jewish or not, or just call it an American Gothic family, but I, just can't get to the point where I think of Adam's family and anything related to it, even the famous Mamushka dance, as actually being in any way a um, Latino. Does this look or make you think of Latino culture in any way? So there we have it. I think this is incredibly disingenuous and it is disappointing to say the least that people keep trying to copy and paste people of color over traditional European or even American culture and tell us that this is our representation and that this is a representation of our culture. I would rather you actually take the time to delve into Spanish culture and tell some traditional Spanish tales or delve into Latino culture, South American culture and tell some traditional 
South American stories, tell some traditional uh, Puerto Rican stories. And then that can be representation of Spanish or Latino, South American or Puerto Rican culture. If you wanted to represent us, that is what you would do. But instead, what you do is give us a simple copy and paste over a previous white actor and tell us, congratulations, there's your representation. No, that's not representation. It's tokenism and it's pandering and Hollywood needs to stop. That's my thoughts on Adam's family as a somehow proxy for Spanish, Latino, Puerto Rican culture. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And in the meantime, if you want to continue to smash the narrative, then smash the like, subscribe, and share buttons. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.